Hello and good morning. This is Terrell. Uh, driving to work, but I figure I'm gonna throw a video out there. It's gonna be top five things I hate about my BMW. When I say hate, I don't mean like, you know, bad. It's just like, it's just the label of the video. They're not that bad, they're just things that are very annoying. I don't want to make this video about things that this BMW just doesn't have. Because um, obviously, if as far as like options that are possible, I guess is what I'm getting at. But yeah, anyways, I start this video off with, uh, I guess, the fifth worst thing. Fifth thing is the navigation. It's decent. It looks sort of clean. Uh, it's it's good as far as view, but I don't think you can update it any longer. And I'm on a highway that doesn't exist. It looks like I'm in the middle of a desert, but I'm actually literally on a highway. So that's kind of annoying. I'm not really a fan of that. The next thing, uh, I guess number four, would be the, the fact that there is no Bluetooth in this car. Um, I'm not sure if it was ever an option, to be honest, but I... Uh, I, I can like answer phone calls and make them, but I can't play any kind of music and I can't like put my, my phone up for maps or anything. So that's kind of annoying. It's, uh, my, I've seen other cars that are slightly newer to it. I don't, I don't know if it was an option, but it's, it's just annoying. I'd like to be able to play music without having to plug my phone directly into the, the port. And, uh, you know, the maps would be really nice because this old maps again, doesn't actually work correctly. It's not updated. So yeah, I guess that'd be my fourth is just simply that Bluetooth, uh, it's from like 1945, so. Number three thing I do not like about this car is that right there, that cup holder. They don't really hold anything in. There's no grip on the sides of them. You can't put a big cup in, and if you put anything in without a lid on or uh, anything that's sort of large and you accelerate, it will literally just fall straight into your lap. I'm not a fan of that whatsoever. It kind of drives me nuts. I had a coffee in here a couple days ago, um, and the girlfriend accelerated just just slightly and uh it fell straight on top of her and covered her pants and coffee um it was cold luckily not hot but uh it still sucked a lot a couple of literally suck in this car there's there's no reason they should be this bad but they are literally terrible number two i guess i think would be the uh, interior storage there's no overhead compartment of any kind for uh, glo uh, uh for sunglasses or anything the only real spot in this car to put things is inside of here, and uh, that's kind of where I put um, my two, my uh, Second Amendment weapons. Um, it's legal, whatever. Anyways, uh, other than that, the center console thing for storage is terrible. You can put like maybe a phone in there, maybe some keys, you know, uh, some Tylenol, whatever. But otherwise, there's just no real storage in this car, and that kind of annoys me. I mean, realistically, people need storage. You got sunglasses, you got maybe a wall and things like that you want to put in somewhere safely. Not a whole lot of storage, kind of annoying. Like I said, see the center one literally has enough room for, I don't know, your little bar, a couple of medicine, pills, things, that's about it. And that one is completely pointless just for coins. So otherwise, otherwise there's just no room for anything in here. Um, as far as storage itself, just compartments. So, so far we've got the navigation, the Bluetooth, the cup holders, and the storage compartments. And the number one thing that I cannot stand about this car, to be honest, it's about most German cars. It's the daggum price of parts. Um, I'm not talking about like basic stuff. Oil, oil is obviously pretty much the same as normal vehicles. Uh, spark plugs, wires, those things like that, or I guess coils, pretty much the same. But, upgrades are ridiculous. Uh, I'm used to more of the Japanese stuff. You want an intercooler kit, you can get one as cheap as, you know, say $400 for pipes, uh, intercooler, everything. On this car, unless you find some random deal, you only get the intercooler itself. Just the intercooler for like $400, $500. And that's pretty much the starting price. They go up to like, I don't know, $1,200, $1,500 for just the intercooler. Charge pipes? That's another two to three hundred dollars on top of that, and it's just two small pipes, maybe like two and a half, like a pipe and a coupler. But yeah, absolutely ridiculous there. The uh, cold air intake that I bought for this car, there's a video on my channel. I'll put in the link in the description of how to install it. Um, it was like five fifty. It's literally just like a silicone coupler that's molded to a certain shape, and then like a, a a heat shield, and then a filter with like a math hole. That's it. It's like two 
or three pieces for like $550. That's kind of ridiculous. Like, just because it's German or because BMW is specific, that's that's wild. And it's not even like a super nice one. The carbon fiber ones were like $1,200 for an intake. It's just a pipe. Downpipe, uh, I got lucky on this car was a VRSF. Uh, no shots at them for cheap quality because I think it's actually decent. It just, they have cheaper prices and it's really nice. So it's like, it's like 190 shipped, I think. And then I installed it and that video, was, I made a video about that as well. Fuel pump for this car, I'll be installing probably in the, uh, sometime in the future here. I'll just make a video about that as well. It's gonna be a, it's a Hellcat like 525 fuel pump. Uh, we have an extra one luckily, so that's kind of cool. Um, high pressure pump is probably about 200 bucks, I think. Not terribly expensive, but just the general mods are, just for what I'm used to at least, they just seem so high priced. I just, I literally have to like save up for just a basic mod. It's kind of a lot. If you enjoyed this style of video at all, about me mostly just talking and not really showing anything, just um, whining about complaints that are, you know, not really that big a deal, uh, give me a thumbs up, like this video. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe. I'm almost to 500 subs. Excited. Getting there. I'm slowly getting there. Thank you for watching.